Hello everyone and welcome to the Break the Game Weekly Alpha Edition number 12. I'm your host Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer, joined this week by Ty Yeager. How's it going, Ty? Hey, how's it going? I am excited to be back. This is Glad to hear. a fun event. How have you been? We haven't seen you in a while. I've been uh, working. <laughs> Still on that six day a week train, but I'm back to be sitting here, cast alongside you. It's always a pleasure. It's always oh. amazing. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, we are going to be getting into our 2v2 tournament this week. It is going to be a bit of a smaller one, but we have... We are... Oops. We are, like a bit of a smaller one. We're going to be starting out with a match between Santa and Scruffy against Magical and Hydraulics. Ooh, this is going to be... This is going to be a good one. And I haven't seen uh, Throne Sport... Or YJ play it. So. Throne Sport is Mixu Hydra. Oh, it's Mixu. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Like yeah, Mixu and Hydra are in a team together, which is always a bit of a challenge <laughs> to get through. Uh, the Walter team has uh, the work put out for them this match. Yeah, they got. I mean, whoever beats Magical Hydraulics, I mean, they have to if if YJ Zo and Skrilp beat Throne Sport, that'll be. That'll be an accomplishment. Anyone beating Throne Sport is going to be an accomplishment. But whoever wins You're that right. will be fighting the winner of the match we're watching now. That's... Wow. We're in for it already. This is this is going to be nuts. I'm excited to see these new mechanics. Also, oh, yeah. You haven't had much of a chance to... You've probably seen a bit of it, but there's been so bit. much changed with the new Immortals. I'm loving it. I can't wait to see these new strats. Oh, it's mm. it is fun. Let me tell you, it's it's there's some cool stuff going on. They did fix the thing where you could put immortal like all the abilities all at once. You can still have multiple copies of an immortal on the field at a time, but you don't have all at the same time immediately. You have to wait like five seconds. Okay, that's not that bad though. I don't. That's, th that's... I don't think they're still trying to. It sounds like they're still working out what to do exactly about that. Like how to best set it up so we'll, we'll mm -hmm. see what happens but we are getting into it so all right let's get into games let's get it all right we are we have orzum zol as the mirror both hydraulics magical going for orzum zol santa and scruffy also going for orzum zol and santa going for third scruffy on the basically santa natural while the blue team going for a bit more of a bit more of a safer option getting the backyard expansion first and then not taking the weaker third until a bit later it's looking like a really nice spread out make sure that just in case one town hall goes down they got a backup this is gonna be really really fun looks like uh they might send some teapots down on the left side and they've got, so far, looks like Hydraulics and Magical do have pretty complete knowledge of what Scruffy and Sand are up to, which at this point isn't all that aggressive. It's, I mean, it's very economical. We've had yeah, a lot of both... double hull or double ultra openings. So... Yeah, which is nice, but it's going to be a little bit slower building. You're going to wait for those ether extractors to pop up. Yeah, have a couple of units popping up. Yeah, yeah, a couple of Centauri Hydraulics is first up with that. They should be able to get a little bit of map presence as a result. And other, everyone else is still just building up their first production structure. Yeah. So, hydraulics better yeah, be advantage there. Yeah, when you uh, do the double ether right off the get-go and you're expanding, uh, it's definitely going to be a little bit longer trying to get anything out of the barracks. That uh, is a hall. consideration, yeah. uh, for sure. Let's see the moats going. Ooh. Love the bone stalkers. I hunt down Santa Claus's teapot just to just deny more vision. It's always a good option. Ooh, teapot's a little a little fast there, huh? It's 
I think they better sped it up a little bit. They've certainly buffed up the health in the last patch. Oh, there goes one teapot. Looks like from here, there is just that early game buildup. Trying to figure out where to go. A little bit of posturing here and there. Not all... I mean, for 2v2, there's not usually a whole lot of rushes. Right. However, it's... Definitely spreading out. Scruffy's going up. He's looking for an opening. Maybe some... Like a few units just pass through and just annihilate them. That is a threat. Ooh, he's going up to the top left. Trying to deny the Pyre Miner, which Santa Claus got no. the southern one, but so far, blue team does have the advantage when it comes to Pyre. That is, again, with the new abilities, that can be a massive concern. Yeah. Luckily for them, 100 Pyre is not enough for Pillar, so it's not like Hydraulics can just rush into the Pillar and do a bunch of damage. Right, Takes right. 175 for that. Oh, 175 now? Oh, yeah, they because now you summon Orzum on top of it all. So you okay. get the pillar, but you also essentially Ooh, get some a, a turret. Okay. We do. They have buffed recently. Yeah, i oh. are now... They're a bit tougher, a bit stronger. A big change was because all the immortal abilities got rid of the infuse ability, or the changes got rid of the infuse ability. Oh. The, like, the Dervish and i could be buffed without breaking the game. Right. Because they don't suddenly get massively massive speed boosts because of Pyre or with Pyre Manager. Makes sense. So they got an increase in their damage output, and that that really helps out. It helps out a ton when it comes to basically having any kind of presence in the map. So we see both yeah. Scruffy and Magical going for quite a few of them early on. But we're transitioning we into some resonance. resonance. Ooh, we got an Absolver right here. Yeah, Two. Santa's making sure to get their map control set up. But... Some difficulty in Take holding... Take Pyre camps. Through. Santa, very good job. Make sure you get that Pyre. Oh, right, I forgot to point out. This is a tower foundation that Santa threw on the map. Like, arbitrarily. This is not... Like, this is one of Orison's new abilities. You can just pop a tower foundation wherever you want. To build a citadel wherever you want. Wow. Okay. That's really cool. Oh my. Okay. That's wow. power of the new I core. Wow. That's what they were supposed to be doing this entire time was melting light wow. units like Zentari, which they have now done. And good for the red team, too, because so f that would have been, you know, an extra force Zentari on top of this entire army. And as it is, the residents are already in place to wipe out this mode line. And indeed, the Scepters yeah, come is... in. Spot for the Resonance. Wow, the Icor just... Oh, they don't have to... Picking them off. off. And, yeah. Resonance spotting. Well, surprise Magical didn't build up an Underspine. They do have Blood Wells, which will do the trick, too. The That's 100 Pyre for seeding. what would have been an Underspine. Yep. Wow, this is some... <laughs> and Santa Claus with the wow. early throne coming in here to try to take care of all of this. So this works out. Dropping the Empire Unbroken on top of the Citadel's... Well, just to provide... With the extra bonus with the Orzum. Having them hang out. Saying hi. This doing this thing. This is a really good spot for Hydra. But the Absolvers in the back line, uh, they are definitely trying to pincer them in. Oh yeah, good point. It looks Santa like Claus. Hydra. It looks like Hydra though is just taking out Scruffy stuff over here. Poor Scruffy. Um, but yeah, it look, looks like he might be trying to cut him off and make sure he stays there. Yeah, smaller army value on their end is being a little bit of a concern, but it's yeah. not too bad. But, I mean, with magical and. Hydra just chilling there. I, th this is just such good positioning right now. Such oh, good magical popping into the bone stars as well, taking out the expansion, and the Icor simply weren't there in time to stop it. No. Not mentioning the sheer numbers coming in here. 
Scruffy with the resonance to try to help defend from the high ground, which at least will slow down this push. The damage has been done. Scruffy just lost an expansion. Santa's out of position, like, kind of forward, trying to hold a forward base, but ends up he being was out trying of position. To get to... From the back, yeah. Was they were, position. and it didn't quite work out. But yeah, Pincer, Pincer wasn't. Yeah, that... it, it did not work. At least the absolvers are kind of keeping them off the, the little hill there. Keep that nice, nice terrain. I, I love being up on hill. I mean, it, well, you can't really get shot. Yeah. It very much helps. Doesn't really help when These your opponent has cascaders, though. Smacked. Yeah, exactly. The thrones He's got are struggling with thrones. Bit. Oh, he, they do have some. <laughs> they got an army now. It's up to Santa's Hydra and Magical to see if they just keep pushing through. And and harm broken on the Citadel is not going to be enough to hold it. But after that, now it's just a matter of... Ooh. Did you get into this? Ah, okay. Getting rid of the... Breaking out. Santa this finally managing to good. start taking out the siege. At the same time, as Magicals this come through. Losing too many Flipping thrones. thrones. Oof. One down. Move second him, one move goes. Him. Move him. No, it doesn't oh, go, but it doesn't you, matter. You and those Siege is there. ongoing. Oh, Same time, Ikor is around the back. Looking to threaten. Looking to deal some damage, but Scruffy is pretty much just able to do that. That's the only projection they have on the map. Everything else is able to scout, see their opponents are expanding, but can't really do much about it. Yeah, Scruffy definitely is low <laughs> on the army build right yeah. now. That's been, that has been a struggle for them for the last five minutes or so. Yeah. Like, ever since they lost... Like, they did a bunch of damage to the Zentari, but then they lost everything to that, that first push. That hold spot where Hydra just sat there and let Magical just poke around was just amazing. That, with the Scepters right there in the middle and the Resonance oh. just sieging up, that was a beautiful. Yep. We got some Zentari on the move up here. Santa Claus managing to retake a bit further out. As well as taking the... Not taking the Tower Foundation that someone else built? Nope. You can build on your opponent's Tower Foundations. They're, they are neutral Tower Foundations. <laughs> nice. Uh, we might see the possible start of a turnaround as the Ancient goes over to the Red Team. They will be... They will be in range of their ultimates. Who's going to get this? Well, Magical tries summoning Zold. Team to get Fire back. got Not it. enough. Team, yep, Team Fire Santa grabs and that Pyre. Now it's a question of how oh, they wow. use it. Santa was Pyre broken. Do you see the sandwich <laughs> happening? The wow. attempted sandwich, yeah. yeah. Just wasn't yep. the, the bread it's... wasn't thick enough. Yeah. <laughs> we got some resonance just chilling here. Siege mode, they're gonna go down really, really quick. Some resonance melting there as the thrones come in, throw swords at them, and make them all die. That's a bit. That I love is... the thrones. Oof. Yeah, clearly so does Santa. Because <laughs> they are making them do work. These resonance just sieged up are just doing so much damage to Hydra's base. Not to mention the tower. The poor as well. Bone Stalkers are just sitting behind idle. They can't do much. Well, to be fair, they are. They could get in reasonably close. There's no There's a pot here for Santa. Yeah, at the same time, yeah, you're right. Hydraulics with an army of castigators just yeah. to take out the thrones. Which was very good. Very good call. But I don't know what they can do against the resonance. They're pretty, uh, pretty weak against them, I feel. Hmm. Got some backup coming on on the right side with Magical. Castigators are getting pushed up a little bit. Looks um. like they're going to fall back and let them take this, which probably would be a good call. Oh, they're going in. They're all collapsing in on Santa. Santa and Scruffy do have a strongish position. It's just they're also I, I, quite extended from their base. 
the throne I swords. I cannot believe it. They these, did it. These throne swords are insane. And the resonance are still up. We still got a, at least three. We got four or five. Wow. Reinforcements on the way, too. We got some Zent Zentari coming up. They're doing good on the uh, defensive end. But it does look really well for Santa and Scruffy at this point. Well, they've taken advantage. They've gotten some extra expansions. They've... I mean, both of them got some extra expansions. So it's not just... Not just Santa. At the same time, uh, Magical's managed to get one, but Hydraulics under heavy pressure... Or Magical managed to get two, but Hydraulics under heavy pressure not able to do much about it. And now, Magical's going to lose one of those. And Scruffy's taking him down. This is... This is not looking good. No, and Matt, Santa and just we got blocking some off. In the, yes! Oh my god, look at the Absolver damage. That, that is what they do. I mean, thanks to that, Hydra, Santa's able Hydra, to hold the line. Yeah, but Hydra has more th uh, thrones now. And this could... This could actually persuade them into pushing them now. This is... It's a good point. I think Hydra's Hydraulics is going to be looking for some angle, but having yeah. having only two send, bases, certain, yeah. they're starting to run out. I think yeah. they're probably going to be more concerned about just getting territory, getting bases, than they are about just cracking back. They're going to try to get some picks, though, I do believe, with an angle, like you were saying. Well, they have just, an angle right here, potentially. Yeah. They, they can they can poke, but oh, those resonants are sieged up, just poking at the army. They are, Cascaders but you, are can't, you can't run in. You can't run in. The Red Seers are going to root you down. Here comes, oh, Magical. Magical's got some behemoths. This could be a good thing. I, I don't know why. I don't know where Santa is, but is gonna have to be taking on some behemoths and all these thrones with all of his resonance and I, I I think he needs to unseach these and move them. I don't think they agree. Dropping the root using the bonus right, to help out the Red Seer plague as well. Well the Red Seer oh, plague just wiping out the health the bars. The there you go. The bread was thick enough this time. Oh my god. Smanging oh through, god. getting rid of all the thrones. It's one down. Second going. With I am in oh, awe right now. So many oh dead thrones and hydraulics aside. We got well, some Dread Sisters coming in with Magical. They're just going to get poked down. Yeah, dropped, got one play, red flag down, but that's just not enough. And Santa's just pushing in. He, he, wa he wants to get these thrones. Okay, pillar drop in the pillar. Orzum versus Orzum. Very directly so. Gotta get rid of these castigators over here, or they're going to be demolished. It's not All even a stuff. contest. Oh, Sand and Scruffy up. take game one. It's a good game. Very well played. That that was a really good comeback, actually. I wow. That's... Oh, I, I, yeah, you're right. After that first hit, the big siege I, on the at the opening. Oh man, that was like right there that was scary. in the middle. That that was so good, and they just like committed. They, they just stayed there. Oh, man. Such a good match. Such a good match. GG's. Wow. Whoa. I can't believe those thrones, man. They're just mm, one of my favorites. I can't remember the last time I've seen so many thrones played in a match. <laughs> there was a lot of thrones. <laughs> There was a lot of castigators. Holy smokes! Yeah, I've that same thing so too. I haven't like, normally we just you know we see some scepters, some more <laughs> goes into Halloween <laughs> play, or some Sharu mass thrown like that. I have not seen it in a long time. So that was that was neat. That was insane. I I loved seeing that, and you know the castigators were doing so well. Even just like the few pairs that you saw on the sides, just taking down thrones, but it just wasn't enough. Just wasn't no. enough. Like I said, they're they're good damage. The glass cannons, so weak on the health side. Very very fun with the high court opening, though. I mean that. I don't. I don't even man the the whole two scepters in the middle, and I, mm -hmm. I think that was such a good strategy.
I feel that they should have just kept on pushing or something, or kind of just kept their spot there, but... Man, because the, the sandwich, like you said, the bread wasn't even thick enough, and they were trying that pincer attack, and it didn't even work. Nope, the, the meat just poked he, right through. <laughs> it was way too insane. Well, now we're going to be moving on to game two, and that should be... That should be more interesting. Who do you, uh, who's the teams? The teams are still Walter, the Walter team and Magical Hydraulics, but we're just moving on to the second game. Because it's best oh, of three. Oh, okay. Best three? Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All the winner sides best of three, all the loser sides best of one. You got this. And it looks like the other side of the winner semis is also done game one, so we should be able to get through this pretty quick. Man, that's such a man. This game's just insane. I, I really love it. <laughs> I know, like the the immortal changes have really just injected a massive amount of life into the game. Yeah, the I mean, I never imagined using so many I core at the beginning, uh, because like I feel like early on they just were, they were like too like costly. Yep. Being so ineffective, you know? Yes, like that was, that was health, the problem. Their health well, pool and the damage, like the splat, like it just. Yeah, because what happened is that weird. there was. Because Infuse just gave you extra speed. So yeah. that was pretty much factored into the power budget for both Dervish and Icor. But of course, you're not always going to use Infuse. It costs a 25. Or it costs 75 Pyre, 75, which is significant. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a and lot, so just for those now that, two types. Yeah, now that Infused... I mean, not just them, but it was still kind of a bland ability. So, it's gone. Yeah. And in its place, there's a bunch of other stuff that's been set up for different in-combat abilities. And those do oh. not make Ikor and Dervish mad powerful, so instead they got actually buffed. Their damage got buffed. <laughs> now they're able to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the units they're supposed to be killing. So, it's a really interesting change. I love it. Me I too. To I'm so excited so to play Icor. I am so yeah. excited. I'm just being able to play Icor based games again is Yes. I have been looking forward to that forever. There's and we will be seeing more of that cool, as the yeah. factions are the same. Orsum Zol versus Orsum Zol. Wow. I, I love the either Maws. They're what? like Hydraulics. one of my favorite buildings. Hydraulics, what are you doing? I mean, the moat's been for, seen. Yeah. If they were paying attention. I'm sure Scruffy was paying attention. Just where are they going with this? Ah, okay. All right. Be tricksy with the towers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because now they're going to have to hurry and try to get... That's such a good play right there. That's definitely going to buy them time. Uh, how many ethers? It looks like we only got one. Let's see. One on one side, one two. Okay. One for Scruffy, one for... Yep. All right. Santa Claus. Two, two. And none for hydraulics none. right now. They're going full yeah. on fast expand into fast legion hall? I don't see the... Ah, there it is. Proxy legion yeah. hall. Yeah, he's got it in the... Yeah. Oof. I am really curious what they're going to do with this. Okay. Okay. Just setting up a piece of ground for themselves. Hey, that's that's good to have right there because he doesn't have to worry about setting any units. Well, they also, it's... you know, have. Yeah, you're right. They don't have to send the units there. They're going to. That's where the units start. Mm hmm. Anything in the basin, though? I mean, their opponents are going to be cluing in sooner or later that something's up. popped up two of his. Should be all uh, even on all ether extractors now. It more looks like you're right. That's a question of what the natural expansion does, and it looks Ooh, like we're going to see Santa Claus yeah. going for a lot more yeah, quick tech. Santa's... Probably going to go for quick dervishes because Santa. Oof. Oh, but he, the did you see that the uh, that tower is attacking is. 
I mean, it's... Santa might lose it. Oh, he got Which it. Which tower? It, 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 they destroyed it. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. Well, Hydra is getting a second chance to build it up. And the teapot going up. It's kind of weird. You mean what hydraulics are doing? <laughs> wow. That was good. Right, magical and hydraulics definitely. Yeah. I, I, looking to see, looking to, they're they're looking for trouble. They want some. They want to start some. Not sure if they're sure they're gonna be able to make that something actually happen for them. I mean, they don't have a tower to retreat to quite yet. It's still under construction, maybe. Yeah, it's maybe, still... Maybe wait a bit. Oh, Zolver's coming in instead for Santa. Not dirt. Interesting. Santa... Santa, you know, broke it off with the dervish, apparently. After the after the nerf. Ooh! Oh, this is the tower you were talking about. Yes. yes. Ah, sorry, I missed that. Yes, in the back side no, of the... Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Wait, is that in vision? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I, but I don't think so. It's so close. It's so close. I it's think right on the isn't. edge. I have no idea. Because you know they would just send some symbiotes over there to just kill them. You know what I mean? Just destroy them. Oh, that well, they see it now. They definitely see it now. Yeah, okay. I'll run by coming in from Scrappy Oh, that's, that's because he sent some units in. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Because, yeah, uh, like you said, he literally put that, <laughs> like, hidden. Yeah, this weird, hidden. weird position that's just barely. They must have. And I called it with the symbiotes. Yeah, he would yeah. just pop those up. I mean, they they, they attack so quick. Oh my god. They really do. They they are. I mean, as you see right now, they are formidable, and helping out in the base defense. Yeah. Yeah. They they're a little cute bugs. I love them. Yeah, they do good work. Ooh, whoa, okay, Scruffy. We got some i -Core. Scruffy coming back with a vengeance, yeah. Santa and Scruffy both come back with a vengeance. Wow. And the i -Core coming in here are... Kind of just melt these Bone Stalkers. Like, they... Bone Stalkers do not have much time, time left. In fact, the i -Core protecting them... Very aren't nice. Aren't gonna help Very either. Very nice. Okay, destroy There's... these moats. Destroy these moats. Very good. Very good. Slow down their production rate. You Santa know, he could have attacked... You know what? Units. He could have attacked that, uh... That... Tower to still attack his uh, Acropolis, like the same thing that uh, I think Hydra did at the very beginning, where he just hit the two things to. Oh, you're the right. Acropolis. Yeah, to set up the neutral. Right? He could he could have just hit that, and that'd be attacking it too. You know what I mean? I I don't. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing that I don't think everyone thinks about. The fact that neutral all you have to do is all you have to problem. do is walk out of its uh, range, right? And it'll yep. reset, and it'll just or, go on that. Actually, I don't know. It. Or did they fix it? That? Used to. I think yeah. they fixed it. I think they made it so that okay. if there's any actual military units around, it'll prioritize those. I'd have to double check. But I'm, I know there was some discussion about that. Okay. Because I, I remember it's such, a, it's such a rare situation that I haven't yeah. even thought to test it, but it's. It was discussed because of that exact case. I now, to be fair, it. you're not wrong. You could, they yeah. could have tapped it and then walked away. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah. when they were out of the base, not harassing, the Acropolis was still yeah. taking continuous damage. Exactly. Yeah, and it would have probably, was... they probably wouldn't have noticed either because it's like damage like really low. It's not an army there. They probably would have got it really freaking low. <laughs> yeah, they're most. Oh wait, why, why is the Acropolis at half? Oh shoot. Yeah, a little late now. It's alright, we got some down. siege going down. I I love these resonance. They the up the updated graphics, the color schemes. Oh, yeah. I, I'm I'm loving it. They are crabs. They are an example of the carcinization on shale. That is everything, crazy. Everything will become crab. It's a crab game. Ooh, we got some hollowers. Oh, I haven't seen any hollowers in a while. Oh, one you're of my, in luck. They've been one of my fall like favorites as well for AOE backup with showers and thrones. One of my favorite things to do. That so absolvers get get the axe, the one AOE unit in Karath you don't like. <laughs> I mean, you cover. I guess Dervish is also AOE, so you covered most of them. Yeah. But yeah, Hallowers are neat. Hallowers and Taris. 
Always a cool little gimmick because of the hallowed ground. Is it a sin I haven't used the dervish that much? Not really. They only became useful last week. Okay. Like, they were, they were nerfed into the ground to compensate for infuse, like I mentioned before. Yeah, and yeah. And just now, they've been made viable again. Okay, that's and good. And even then, I'm not sure uh, how viable. We've seen, I've seen some use of Mass Dervish, but I haven't seen a whole lot of it. Is he going to pop these down, siege them up? Oh, I don't think they think they have to. They're just going to hold okay, at the same time, okay. though. Much more focused on their own base as you know, they're sacrificing a oh, third wow, for Santa their just, naturals. He's just taking down some Bone Stalkers, making sure that he can take some Ether Ports down, too. Let's get it. Oh, Bone Nationals down. Scruffy with a great hunt on top of that. Chaz, by the way, changed. So now basically all the units that get kills oh, get massive buffs. Like, they get they get a massive attack speed buff. Any of the units with the red particle effects. They've hunted yeah. something. They've gotten a kill. They get a massive buff. And that is... Pillar of Heavens goes big down. Big reason for it. Now, yep, as... Not much change from before. Just straight damage. Straight Angel Fire. Wow, Stan and Scruffy are just taking this. This this might be GG. I I don't want to call it early, Oof, but it's it's hard to call because there is uh, still some damage. Some... Naturals did go down. Like Stan and Scruffy did lose their naturals. This is absolutely a base race. Does look like Stan and Scruffy are going to be winning the base race, yeah. and so do so agrees Magical and Hydraulics. Yep. Santa and Scruffy with 2-0 move on to the winners finals. Congratulations. That was amazing. Very beautiful job, guys. Amazing. Amazing teamwork on both sides of the teams. Yeah, that was that was an amazing start to our tournament today. So yep. with but we are of course moving on to Mixu and Hydra up against Santa and Scruffy. That. Those hollowers, man. Oh, those hollowers. Mm. <laughs> yes, there's a man who loves his hollowers. Yeah, they're they're fun. Did they? Uh, like, I, I'm gonna be playing as soon as probably this tournament's over because I'm just so excited seeing this new stuff. It's very very cool. Well, I mean, the thing is, you haven't seen half of it. No, I know. We've just only seen two we, immortals we're just today. The Orzum and Mala, so maybe Orzum and Zol. We haven't seen Mala yet. Oh, Zul. oh we haven't seen oh, Mala. Yeah, yeah, Mala is. Oh boy, Mala is something else. Let we're me tell you. Someone play a Jari, because that uh, teleport to your nearest Acropolis ability is just so cool. And the other one yeah. that just takes them all, and they'll have like twenty five percent. Like health, or something like That's that. That's the heavens. Well, heavens, you just got changed. Oh, we got changed. The way it works now is that you summon a Jari, you can float her around, and when she's near units, twice a second she gives one of them a shield, and that shield just takes a hit, just tanks a hit. That's sick. It's not extra shields. It's just a free hit. It's just a free hit. Yep. That's really nice. That's really nice. But yeah, yeah I definitely I, want listen, to see the. With Mala, it's like there's, well, there's one ability that everyone uses all the time, which you're when you use it, she you summon Mala, and then all your units near her when they deal damage they heal, and any units near her when they die become a kill. So it's not quite the efficiency of the the Dread Sister ability because it's one per unit, not one, one per I think two supply, two. but it's still okay. just free kittle, as both your units and your opponent's units die. For as long as Mal is around, which I think is like 10 seconds. So it's, you just have, yeah, you get a lot more Kittle now with new Mal. That's, that's sick, because, you know, we, we love the Kittle. Kittles are so good. Throwing Absolver is a cool composition. Yeah, it is. It's such a, such a good composition. Yeah. I mean, Rain of Blood's still a thing. Although oh, now don't... it's health everywhere and then so mana near where Mal was summoned. Ooh, oh, okay. Yep. That's really nice to know. Yeah, so if you don't have a lot of spellcasters, it's just wherever. But if you have them, you basically want them near her so that they get both the health and mana to just cast all the spells. Right. 
Yeah. That's a really good way to replenish because uh, that was one thing uh, that I noticed that you'd, you'd run out of mana so quick and then you'd have to wait for the charge or whatever. Well, have you played since they added blood casting? No. Oh, okay. So the way it works now is that you have mana, but also if you're out of mana, it'll cast from health. Like it won't how kill much? you. Okay. <laughs> up, and, up until the point where it would kill the unit, and then it stops. What's the percentage on that? Like 15%? Or? I think it's just straight forward, like, mana becomes health. So one to one. Oh, shoot. I see what's going on. Hmm. I'm loving this. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Who's, uh, we're just waiting on the winner for the other game? We are, no, we're just setting up the lobby. Oh, okay. Yep. Hopefully everyone is enjoying these games as we are, because, man, this is so much fun. Uh, I like the icorness of this. I know! So the awesome. is... I mean, Okay, icors are my current favorite unit, See, so I, I am super say, excited. We got an icor lover over here. We love it. We do! It's so good. We really it's do! So good. <laughs> like, so, so many games fun. I have thrown away trying to make icors work, but now they work! <laughs> they now they, they, they work. do so much damage! I mean, they do! Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I am so excited because they are... I mean, also, it's just, like, there's a lot of reasons beyond that. There have been a lot of, like, mass light unit plays that have gotten popular. And, well, Icor and Dervish are designed to make mass light unit not the be-all, end-all strategy. Uh, same with Master Irvish. They're both meant to do that. Okay. So it's yeah, because we we're having a lot of, like Hunter Mono Spam or Bone Stalker Mono Spam or Sapari Zentari. Not so much those Mono Spam, but still kind of. Yeah, I haven't seen so uh Sapari units in a while, really. Well, we haven't seen Jari in a while. Yeah. <laughs> 